Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another Gracious Grass tournament video, kicking off the last 16. Yes, we have, well, yes, we have the last 16 round here, four lovely videos for you to, four lovely matches for you to tuck into. As we will see, the, the Shant taking on Carifasaurus, Parasaurolophus against Prosaurolophus, Super Ulti Rhinus against Ulura Titan, and Paris against Mutaburrosaurus. So, I here's hoping that we have some epic matches and subscribe for more tournament videos. And without further ado, let's get on with the first matchup, which is the Shant taken on the Karifa. Okay, in the red corner, we have the Shantungasaurus. Defeated the Lambiosaurus in the first match of this tournament, which you can also check out if I remember to put it in the exclamation mark thingies in the top right of the corner thing. In the blue corner, we have a Carifasaurus. The helmet-headed lizard defeated the sh Super Shant in the first in the first round. Can it defeat the regular Shant? It's a Shant killer. The Shant has shat himself. <laughs> I like that. The Shant has shat himself. There's a one. Ooh, that's a tie. Up the time. Ooh, big, big damage coming. The Carifasaurus is way as the Shantungasaurus gets off a metal whip. And and a, a Tupu dive as well, just just for a little overkill. Oh, look at that! Almost wiped it out. Ooh, the super impact has been triggered, however. But it doesn't matter because another metal wing incoming. Tappy Tupu for a die for overkills. And the Shant is going to win round one. And while this attack happens, I'm taking a quick sip. <sighs> Nothing like good old Aqua Vida. If that made sense. Bow, bow. Right, let's move on to round two. Okay, round two between these grass munchers. The behemoth that is the Shantungasaurus taking on the Roman Carifasaurus. Because he's got like a Roman helmet on. Okay, that's a, that's a tie. Ooh, the Carifasaurus gets off the first hit. It didn't get a hit off in the first round, but this time it does. But once again, it's gonna be a metal wing from the super from the Shantungasaurus. And I can't remember if this guy is attack type or counter type. If it's counter type, then it's probably then the Creepasaurus is probably dead. And it isn't dead, but it's barely hanging on yet again. Ooh! I tell you what though, the Creepasaurus answering back with a super duper impact. That helmet-headed crest is going to come crashing into the Shant's spine. Boosh! Oh, and it killed it! Impressive! Let's move on with round three. Well, it all comes down to this. Both of these two have impressed with their crit so far in this match, but who has enough fuel left in the tank to prove it? Oh yeah, you can definitely see that Creefosaurus's crit, even though its base crit damage is... I believe less of a shant because it uses super impact it has a lot more power to its crit than the shant does. Ooh, the Creefosaur is opening up with a hit. Won't do too much damage but a hit's a hit. Well, it's a crit from the Creefosaurus but it did. won't do as much damage as it would have had it had super impact triggered. Ooh, Creefosaurus looking mightily impressive. Did that super impact knock the stuffing out of the shant? I think it has. As a death grind comes in here with a critical block to follow. We saw how effective the critical block was against the super shant in the first round. And I think 
is all but guaranteed that the Karifasaurus is yet again going to defeat a Shant. Yeah, I think it's guaranteed. Yep, the Shant does not have enough health to survive in the tie, and probably one of the fancy dinosaurs in this tournament is knocked out by the Karifasaurus, who seems to like killing Shants. She's become carnivorous. <laughs> Well, that's two shants defeated for the Karifasaurus. Very impressive there as the helmet-headed lizard takes her place in the quarterfinals. Okay, on to our next matchup of this video, which sees the Parasaurolophus taking on the Prosaurolophus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Parasaurolophus, of course. Parasaurolophus. Looked pretty solid in the first matchup against the Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus and defeating it quite comfortably. But in the blue corner, we have the Avaceratops poser itself, the Proserolophus. And this Proserolophus also enjoyed a comfortable first round win, defeating the Sinteosaurus. So we should be in for an um, enticing match. Okay, let's start generating the moves. That's a six. And that's a five. And the Parasaurolophus gets off the first hit. Oop, that's a tie. And another tie. The Parasaurolophus in the lead so far. And I think it's going to be extend. Well, it is going to be extending that lead. There's no thinking about it. The metal wing coming in. Fum, fum, fum. This might be lethal. No. Parasaurolophus's attacks are quite balanced. So, well, it wasn't even as crit anyway, so it's never going to be lethal. Okay, that's a six. Oh, oh it's Papasaurus. It's a tag team. The Prosaurolophus saved from a first round loss there. Or is it saved? Well, if it if it gets hit again, it won't be saved. There's a tie. I think this Prosaurolophus is revival type though, so if it dies in a tie, it gets to come back once. But it's not going to die in a tie. It's going to die to a hit from the para, and a critical one to be exact. And the defense boost for overkills, but a comfortable round one win for the Parasaurolophus. Okay then, let's move on to round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two crested beasts. Can the Parasaurolophus continue its impressive form, or will the Prosaurolophus bite back? Well, it doesn't have much of a bite, but you get what I mean. One, and a one. And that, my friends, is a tie. Wow, it's the Prosaurolophus going to get a hit in this match. I don't think it's going to. The Parasaurolophus continue to dictate in the play. Oh, that's another tie. Well, at least it's doing damage to a, by a tie, but, you know, that's not good enough. The Prosaurolophus needs a hit, and it's finally going to get one. Not much damage dealt, though. But at least a hit, at least it's a hit. Oh, oh, and <laughs> all that, all that um, damage is probably going to be healed up with this light recovery. Yep. And the Parasaurolophus, comfortable so far in this match. And an eventual, oh, the Papasaurus. Oh, I forgot about that. The Papasaurus keeping the Prosaurolophus in it. But let's be honest, the amount of hits the para has been getting in this in this match so far, I wouldn't be surprised if the para gets the next hit anyway and wins. Ooh, I tell you what though, the Prosaurolophus not going down yet. Gets that hit off on the para. Okay, yeah, it's over. <laughs> Parasaurolophus taking no prisoners here in this matchup. I Another comfortable win for our crested friend. The, the, the um, Parasaurolophus one, not the Prosaurolophus one. 
Um, pity for Pro Sorolla for Sid. Did quite well in the first match against Sintosaurus, but it didn't quite happen for it this time. However, the Parasaurolophus goes from strength to strength and advances to the quarterfinals, where she will take on the Corythosaurus. Okay, now on to our third matchup, which sees the Super Ulti Rhinus going up against the Uluru Titan. Okay, in the red corner we have the Super Ulti Rhinus, the thick nosed boy there with an elephant-like pattern, but doesn't look like an elephant. I feel like the Awaken Mode might be key to this match. If the Ulti Rhinus can use it well, then the Ulti Rhinus will win this match. However, it's going to be tough for it because in the blue corner, we have the Wolf Impersonator itself, the Ulura Titan, with a beautiful, lovely crest. And it was mightily impressive in a dominant display against I forgot. Ooh, it's faced up against it. Well, it was it. Well, it won, and that's all you need to know. But I feel like the Ulti Rhinus does have the upper hand with our Awake Mode, which, for those of you that are new, will be triggered as soon as the Ulti Rhinus's HP is below half. Um, I would like to pr propose a question with regards to Awake Mode for my for my um, future tournaments, which, which involves you guys. Would you like me for the Awaken Mode to do it the way I do it in these tournaments? Or would you just prefer it to be the way it has been? Leave a comment down below. I, I, I do want to know what you guys... I do like to have your guy, you guys' input with regards to s tournaments and that, which, which involve you lot, of course. Because without you lovely people, I couldn't do tournaments, could I? I <laughs> just do it by myself. Okay, that's definitely below half. So the Awaken Mode will be triggered. Or will it? The Uluru Titan getting off another hit, and it's a critical one. And well, it's not going to get Awaken Mode because the Galley Rush is going to come in and finish off Ulti Rhinus and give Uluru Titan a 1 0 lead. Uluru Titan proving once again that just because it was the very last grass dinosaur to be released doesn't make it the weakest. I, I don't know why people would think that, but you know, just just wanted something interesting to say. Okay, on to round two. Okay, round two, a clash on the beach. Can the Super Ulti Rhinus get his act together? Or can Uluru Titan continue to impress? Wow, Uluru Titan... Actually, on the topic of Uluru, Uluru Titan, it is actually a pretty good grass dinosaur. You know, it, it has more attack. It has around. It has more attack than any other bronze grass, and it has 700 technique, which makes it pretty decent. So it's a good indication of where you, where you guys, where I think I'll put it when I do, when I eventually go on to do the grass tier list. But that's not for a while yet, it's still got the Earth one to get past first. And that one, well, that one will be an interesting one. I don't know whether it'll be this week, or if I, if I put it up already, or... I I hope it'll be next, hopefully it'll be next week. No, wait, that's, a, that's half. I hope that's half. I don't know if it is. Oh, bugger, it wasn't halved. Oh, well. Oh, the only Rhinus gets off the head! The Uluru Titan is going to take some big damage here. Oh, hang on, it's Power Drain. Okay, maybe it won't. But the Ulti Rhinus... Okay, it is taking big damage. Slippy slippy satchel. The Ulti Rhinus finally getting off a hit, and it's quite the big one. But, as we saw there, its HP is halved, so it's still relatively 50-50. And I think the Uluru Titan may have just bought itself a victory. Oh, it hasn't. It hasn't. I forget that the Uluru Titan has a pretty powerful crit. Oh, that's a tie. That will do it. Wow. The Uluru Titan, despite getting hit by the Super Ulti Rhinus, manages to pull through and take a 2-0 victory. Wow, another Super Dinosaur bites the big one. Yeah, that was quite good from Uluru Titan. Could Uluru Titan be one to watch in this tournament? It's in the quarterfinals, 
and we're going to find out who its opponent will be now. Dino Smash! Okay, we'll skip this. <laughs> okay, in the red corner, well, I think you can guess who's in the red corner. We have, oh, oops, I managed to, I missed it. We have Paris. But in the blue corner, we have the Mutaburrosaurus. But the Barasaurus defeating the Abranosaurus in the first round. This will be a much tougher test for it though, pa as Paris was quite impressive in defeating the Anata Titan in her first round match. And if you can hear that, I'm sorry, but you know, the people gotta work, haven't they? So I'm sorry about the noise, okay? Nothing I can do about it. Ooh. The Mutaburrosaurus again, the opening hit there. And it's the Venom Fang, and a critical block is coming as well. A strong start from the Mutaburrosaurus. Oosh. Ah, oh, look at the little guy, he's like pouncing all over it. Like, ah. <laughs> okay, that means that the Mutt will be going for a rock. What will Paris be going for? Oh, scissors. There's another hit from the Mutaburrosaurus. Paris not looking in good shape so far. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, but could that be what Paris needs to get back in this match? In comes a metal wing. I believe the, the move that Paris used the most. Oh, here comes Nature's Blessing. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Has to be surely. Okay, um, the nature's blessing didn't really help. The super impact is incoming, and the Mutaburrosaurus is about to get a one 0 lead over Paris. Wow, it really doesn't happen for anime dinos in my tournaments. Well, except for Brontokins, who almost won the tournament. But you know, Brontokins is a beast. Right, let's move on to round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two beasts. Can Paris even the score, or can the Mutaburrosaurus continue to impress? The winner of this matchup will take on the Ulra Titan in the quarters. So I feel like if whoever wins this could have a good chance to get into the semis. Or maybe go all the way. Oh, Paris opening up with the first hit. And it's the death grab. Well, I was going to put Bigfoot Assault on this, on her, but, you know. I've never done free super moves in any of my mini tournaments. And I didn't want to make an exception. Oop, that's a tie. Of course, I could have given her a stomping hammer and Bigfoot Assault. But I thought Nature's Blessing was more symbolic to Paris. Well, speaking of Paris, definitely looking a lot sharper here. The Mutaburrosaurus can't seem to get a hit. Oh, oh, it's dead. Well, quick as a wink, Paris dispatches the Mutaburrosaurus and evens the score. So you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this next round. Paris looked quite impressive in that last round there. The Mutaburrosaurus could not get a hit. So, it, it, Mutaburrosaurus does need to find a bit of momentum that it had in the first matchup between these two. But, can Paris continue her charge? Oh, we start with a tie. Ties favour the Mutaburrosaurus more. And that will definitely favour the Mutt. An opening hit there, the Mutaburrosaurus' stats are relatively balanced, so its crit isn't significantly stronger than its other two moves. Ooh, but, but, a big metal wing coming from Paris, and this Paris is super counter type, so this is gonna do a crap ton of damage. Yeah, look at that! And the nature's blessing as well! Paris on the brink of the quarterfinals. No anime dino, well, except for Brontokins, has ever made it to the quarterfinal stage. Actually, I think Terry might have. 
No, Spiny. I, I'll, have, I'll have to re-watch all my tournaments. But yeah, out of all the anime dinos, except for Brontekins, Paris is definitely doing well. But a super impact is coming from the Mutaburasaurus, so she will sustain big damage. And look at this, it all comes down to this. Whoever gets the next hit here will win the match. Oh, and it's the Mutt! The Mutaburasaurus has snatched it! Oh, commiserations for Paris, but like all the other anime dinosaurs besides Brontekins, they seem to suck in, this tor in these tournaments. Well, commiserations for Paris, it didn't quite happen. The Mutaburasaurus found some fight and managed to pull off another win. Right, we'll update the um, bracket thingy and we'll end the session. Well, that's looking a very interesting bracket here. You've got a Karifasaurus pulling off a... I'd say a slight surprise. Well, it's more even, these two. But, you know, I didn't... Ex I expected the Shant to win this matchup. But the Karifasaurus pulled through once again. And then, you know, this one could have gone either way. But the Parasaurolophus proving quite dominant. And these two will square off in the quarterfinals. Uh, we also have, down here, the Ulura Titan. Quite dominant in its first two matches so far. Defeating the Karanosaurus. And the Super Ulti Rhinus seems to have a thing for silver dinosaurs. And over here we have the Mutaburasaurus defeating Oranosaurus and squeezing past Paris in the last 16 to book her place in the quarterfinals. And out of this bracket you'd have to say the Parasaurolophus definitely has a favourable chance here of probably going all the way here. As this bracket is definitely the tougher bracket because look, oh, look at the heavy hitters we've got in here as well. Well, one of these two is going to get knocked out. We have the Super Parasaurolophus, Super Synteosaurus, and then these two not so much heavy hitters. You know, the Ulti Rhinus could be a threat. So yeah, stay tuned for next time, where as I said, we will have these four matches as we conclude the last 16. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, and if you want to subscribe and ding that bell, you're welcome to do so. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.